Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We are overcome. Thank you because this can only be you. Father, we are here again. We are ready that you will speak to us in a language that we will understand. Amen. Be the speaker, Lord, even as I decree that you increase, I step out of the pulpit that you step in. I speak that Amen. you step up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Amen. I command my understanding, my wisdom to die and let only your wisdom manifest itself right now in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Father, I come against every every heart and my control demon, every spirit of misunderstanding of the word of God. We bind and cast you out of our midst right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. After today, Lord. Our life will not remain the same. In Amen. Jesus Christ, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, by the special grace of God, we have uh, something we are going to talk about together, uh, which is very important to me and to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, quickly, let us read. Uh, go to the book of First Peter, chapter three, verse ten. First Peter three, verse ten. If you are there, you can read First Peter three ten. I read in Jesus' name, Amen. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain in strong from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible just told us, he that what that we that we see that he said, for he that we love what life and see good day, let him refrain his tongue from what from evil. And that is why the topic before us this morning is take care of your tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Take care of what? Of your tongue. If you and I must see good day, if we, you and I must survive, especially in this heavenly race, you and I must do one thing for yourself and for myself. You and I is expected to take care of what? Of our tongue. Why? Because the tongue is very what? Is very little. It's very small but is greater than every or in the other hands is greater than anything you want you may think about what is the tongue the tongue is is one of the organ of the body that is being what that is covered with the mouth praise the lord Amen. hallelujah so as we go further we will see what the tongue can do and what the tongue have caused and what the tongue can stop you from. The Bible makes us understand where we read now. If you and I must what must it says for he that we love life, life is good. If you and I love to live with Christ Jesus, 
if you and I must see our Lord Jesus Christ and reign with him, we, that is to say, one thing is what is demanded. What is that? Need to take care of what? Of your tongue. As we understand before, as I said before, the tongue is what is one of the organs of the body. And this tongue has the power to what? To give life and has the power to take life or to discord, to destroy life. The tongue has the power to pronounce life, to give life to you and I. And at the same time, it has the power to destroy life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Of Proverbs chapter 18, Proverbs 18, verse 21. Let's see what the Bible makes us to understand about the tongue. Let's, because of time, let's listen carefully. I believe the Lord has something for me and for you. Proverbs 18, verse what? Verse 21. If you are there, you can swear it. God bless you. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Amen. Amen. The Bible makes us to understand now that death and what are life hour in the tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many people that are gone today, many people that are in one problem or the other today, Many people that are having life today are they, they are being the work of what the tongue, because the Bible is have given us a clarity that life and death lies on the tongue. If you and I, where we read before, must see love, good day, love to see life. We need to take care of our lives, brethren, because death and life lies on the tongue. What the, the, we are going to quickly see some things about the tongue. It, the, this tongue can repair home. This tongue, and at the same time, can do what? Can destroy home, can repair home. Many marriages today, many homes today, is repaired by the tongue. And at the same time, many homes today that are having one calamity or the other was done by the power of what of the tongue that husband that just left that wife that just left maybe he has been bearing the word that the the, the wife has been uh, uh, be, be, be saying maybe uh, the, the, the the husband and uh, i mean the wife had bear enough and said no i can't take I can't continue this way. I can't bear this again. That is why the tongue need to what to be taken care of because the tongue can give life. The tongue can give life, and the tongue can also give death as well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the tongue has negative. We are going to see carefully the power of what of the tongue. In the book of First Peter, I mean James chapter one, three, quickly a fast reader, read from verse one to twelve. James chapter three, we are going to see the power of the tongue. James three one to twelve. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My brethren, be not many masters, knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation too. For in many things we offered all, if any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and able also to bridle the whole body. Three, behold, we put bit in the horse's mouth, that they may obey us, and we turn about their whole body. Four, behold, also the sheep, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce wind, yet are they turned about with a very small hem, whithersoever the governor the governor listed five even so the tongue is a little member and a boosted great thing behold how great a matter a little fear kindled six and the tongue is a fire a word of iniquity so is the tongue among our members that it defiled the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire of her seven for every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in sea is tamed and had been tempted of mankind eight, but the tongue can no man tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Nine, therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith cause we men, which 
uh, made after the similitude of God. In ten, out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and causes. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Amen. Amen. Continue to 12, my God bless you. Okay, to 12, 11, that a fountain sent forth at the same place sweet water and bitter. 12, can the fig tree, my brethren, bear only berries, either a vine, fig, so can no found, fountain both yield salt water and fresh. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You see the power of the tongue. The, the Bible makes us understand that a tongue is a word of what? of iniquity is on rude place the question to you and I is what is that that is proceeding out of your tongue what is that that is in your tongue is it the negative part or the positive part many people are saying hey my marriage i've been peaceful for 20 years that i've been married go and look at it very well the the, the reason why it, they, they can boldly say so is because they were able to rule their tongue. They were, when the husband speak or the wife speak, they, they, sit, they rule their tongue. They know if I just re, 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 reply my wife now, if I reply my husband now, there will be disaster. Because any word that comes out of the mouth is no more what is not complete anymore. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Water, if, if, if the tongue is like a water that is in, in, the, in a basket or in a cup, when you the, the water in the cup is being thrown down, to gather it again, it can never be the same. That is what the word of the tongue, the word of the man is. That is why we need to take a, a ah, many people today are regretting, hey, if I know, I would have said so. The word have already proceeded. Hey, if I know who told me now, who told me to take to say this word to my wife? Who's that? What is that? What have I done? Who just told me now to reply my husband? If I know, maybe the husband drove them away and go back home. And when they reply, they report their mother to their uh, mother, and their mother said, "Why did you so? If you have, you would have said so." Why? Because the, there is power in our tongue. The tongue is very evil. This world that we are today are ruled by the tongue. Every calamity you see in, the, in, in this world is the tongue that, 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 that is doing it. Every, every one of us, we are in a different country. Go and see the law that is governing that country. It's not writing by the leg. It is what can proceed out of the mouth of the rule of the governor or the president of that country. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Question now, how are you ruling your tongue? How are you governing your tongue? Is your tongue governing you, sister? Is, are you the one governing your tongue? Or is the tongue that is governing you? Because if you refuse to govern your tongue, always wait for what? For problem. In the community, in the place of work, in your home, if you fail to rule your tongue, if you are the, if you are the type that your tongue is ruling, there will always be a noise making in that home. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, we, we see how big, uh, I want to ask a question. Like many of us, we have took a flight. Many of us, we see ships. Many of us, we, we, we see, we have uh, taken a train from one place to the other. The train, the flight that you are taking and the, the, the pilot of the, of the flight, mm -hmm. which one is more bigger? Is it the uh, the flight or the fellow or I mean or the pilot. The, the flight is bigger than the pilot, but it is the pilot that is ruling the world, the flight. That is it. That is exactly what our tongue is like. 
are you the one riding? Uh, are you the governor of your tongue? Are you the pilot of your tongue? Or is your tongue that is piloting you? In this heavy race, if, heavy, if you allow your tongue to pilot you, I tell you, it will drag you to where you never want to go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the, the, in this tongue, is, there is negative and there is positive. If you do not take care of your tongue, sister, it will say your future and or your destiny let's see what happened in the book of genesis chapter 26 if you do not take care of your tongue what let's say it will say your future or it will say your destiny it will say your hope let's see the book of genesis 26 29 to 34 genesis 26 29 to 24 if you're there you can read i read in jesus name amen, amen. 29 that thou wilt do that thou will do us no hurt, as we have not touched thee, and Genesis, as we are... Sorry, Genesis 26. Yes, sir. 26, 29 to 34. Yes, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, uh, you, okay, sorry, Genesis 25, 29 to 34. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 29. And Jacob saw and Jacob sought pottage. And Esau came from the field, and it was faint. 30. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Adam. 31. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. 32. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this birthright do to me? 33. And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swear unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. 34. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage and lentils. And he did eat and drink. And rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you and I do not take care of our tongue, we see what happened to Esau. Was he, he, he that said now, what, 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 this one is not important to me. My betrayal is not important to me. Later on, was he not looking for it? He was looking for it, but it was what? Too late. Many of us, so many of us are in one thing or the other. Today, because of our past, Praise the Lord. So, I fail to take care of our tongue, sisters and brother. It, it will say your future. It will say your destiny. That is why the tongue must be taken care of. That is why your tongue must be governed by you, not, not the tongue governing you. Because Esau, despite it was the handwriting of God, but he allowed is he allow it all to say his destiny is is better but after he have he will, let me tell you it will only take you for a while you will sleep for one day if you too much you sleep for one year later you will seek for it but it will be too late but i pray as many that are so their destiny and their future because of one thing or the other through their tongue I pray the Lord will recover it back today in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Amen. So, my dear brothers in the Lord, do not allow the tongue to do what? To say your future, to say your destiny, because it may not be, you may not gain it back again forever and ever. It will only take the mercy of God to recover it. I pray the Lord will have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that we are created in the image of what and likeness of God. Therefore, let us quickly look at the book of Genesis chapter 1. We are talking the, of the power of the tongue. Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, verse 9, and verse 11. Genesis chapter 1, 3, verse 3, verse 9, and verse 11. And read verse 3 in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Verse 9. And God said, Let the water on let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, 
and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Verse 11, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is itself upon the earth, and it was so. Amen. Amen. The Bible makes us understand where we just read now. They let the Lord said, let there be what? Be light. And there was light. The reason why we need to take care and be all be careful with our talk, because we are be created in the image and the likeness of God. So therefore, whatever we say, we surely will come to pass. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It was a spoken word. Let there be light. And there was what? There was light. If you want light to be in your home, if you want light to be in your community, you want light to be in ev your environment, your tongue must be what? Taken care of. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only a spoken word that we do it by the power of what? Of your tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why do we need to, to be careful with our tongue? Let's see Numbers chapter 14, verse 28. And another person, because of that, Job 22, verse what? Verse 28. Numbers 14, 28. And Job uh, 22, verse what? Tw uh, verse 28. I read in Jesus' name, Numbers 14, 28. Say unto them, as truly as I live, say the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Amen. What I hear you saying to my what to my ear? Can you speak to God with your? If I want to speak to you now, is it not with my mouth I will talk? If I speak with my leg, will it understand? No. But if I say, sister, so so and so, please give me a glass of water. You will do it because you heard me saying it. So what I hear you saying, the Bible is telling us now, is what I will do for you. Did you say, eh, if you, you can't go to hell? Okay, that is what the Lord hear. He will, he will grant it for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You want to pack out of this house? I am even tired of you. Eh, that is what God will grant to you. Because he said what I hear you saying. I will do what I will do for you. In that, uh, in the, also in that Job 22, verse 28, if you, can, if you are there, you can read. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon their ways. Amen. Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. By what are we decreeing? By the what? The tongue, the mouth. That is why we need to take care of it. Many of us today, uh, uh, many of us today are passing one thing or the other. It, or if you find that it is because of the word of our parents of the past. Many of us are carrying the thing we don't know about because of what our parents said to us. Many of that is why we need to take care of we mother, we parents. We need to be careful with the way we are speaking to our children. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your, your soul, your children's eye is very small. You, but you will open your mouth and say, you big eye. Don't worry. When the eye became big, remember the Bible says you shall decree a thing. Remember the Bible say I, what I hear you saying. Your son, your children, your child's head is very small. You big head. Don't worry. Somebody is there. The wings are powerful. Even this world has ear. They will help you to, to do all, to let it come to pass. Because it's, the Lord will support it. Because it's His word. That what I hear you say. That is why every word must not be joked with. Every believer must be careful with the word that proceeds out of their mouth. Out of their mouth. Because things are around that are looking for what we will say. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my dear brothers in the Lord, our talk must be what? Must be taken care of. Because he said you shall decree a thing. We shall decree a thing and it shall be established. Two cannot go. Except what? They agree. Can you and I not agree with leg? No. Oh, sister, this, brother, this. And we, okay, tomorrow we meet at so, 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 so place. 
it was by God, by the world. So therefore, brothers in the law, we need to be careful with what? With our tongue. Praise the law. Hallelujah. The Bible also tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 and 29. If you are there, let's clearly because of time. Ephesians 4, 29. Ephesians 4, okay, go ahead. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Let no corrupt, let no, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Amen. Amen. Let no what corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. Is your word a defiable? It's a question. The word you are saying, the word that is proceeding out of your mouth, is it a word of edification? Does it give life to the person you are saying it to? Are you saying it to your children, to whosoever? Does it edify? It's a question. Because the Bible is telling us now, let not our world, our mouth, let nothing evil proceed out of our mouth. Sister, brother, what is that that is proceeding out of your mouth? To your children, to your husband, to your wife. If uh, maybe you and your husband is having misunderstanding, if you don't eat, go and die. Go outside and look for somebody else to give you. Uh -huh. Remember, is a war. One day he will host, he will surely go outside and look for somebody. Don't think he was in need of aid. Like I, uh, uh, I was telling some people the other day, brethren, I thank you, Jesus. Like we some some a week ago or two uh, some days ago, time ago, we ha we see a, a video whereby they show some a custom in Nigeria saw somebody dead. In that video, I was hearing, shoot me now. Brothers and sisters, be careful. And the customer at this end, he really shoot him. After he shoot him and he died, what, where is he now? Where are you not the one who commanded his customer to shoot you now? And he has shot you. What, 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 what will he do? So that is why we must be careful, sisters. Brothers, we must be careful. Are you as somebody having any problem? Don't. Say, or you and your wife, your husband, or so ever, and there is an object in the person's hand. Maybe it's not. Don't say, shoot me now and see. If he shook you and you die, you will end up in hell. The Lord will say, Are you not the one who said he should do it? He has done it. Then, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The power of the tongue. Your tongue needs to be taken care of, my sisters in the law. Let no corrupt. My, uh, the communication proceed out of your mouth. Believer, what is that that is proceeding out of your mouth? Does it give life to those that are hearing it or is condemning? Because of that, power of all, okay, the, the, the problem, but many of us are in one problem or the other today because of what? Of our tongue. Many has used their tongue to say their children's life and destiny. Many of us have used our tongue to set the life of our destiny of the of our children out, out or to people unknown to us. Ah, where is your sister? Uh, your, your 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 first son. That one that go for nothing. Hey, hey, you are just said it. If we ever remain good for nothing, if you do not do something about it, the person you just speak it to is here. He will take it to some place. And he said, when I ask after him, remember, I remember the servant, uh, remember, I just remember this now. Some time ago, the servant of God was saying something about uh, uh, somebody that uh, when he said, uh, uh, that was why he was encouraging, no, we should not allow somebody to say, my son, ah, eh, is my son. I remember this. I, I believe every one of us remember this. When he said the, the person, uh, the, the, the forty was a rent in the kingdom of that man, and he go to the person's house and say, ah, where is your? Uh, uh, let me put in exclamation. Where is your son, your child, uh, our son? I be is it not as well? And he said, ah, it's our son, and is that was what the end? Uh, what happened to the person? The power of the tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Lord need to be, care, to be properly taken care of. Destiny of many children. 
life of many of, of, of many children have been sold out unknown to us, unknown to them, unknown to the parents. They, they never knew it was themselves who sold it out. Many has used their tongue to destroy their children's, uh, children's life. Example, as I said before, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Example, as I said before, you big head, you big, uh, big thing, you big this, your head that is like, uh, uh, you, your eye look like mocking eye. Very soon, it will look like it. Remember, you are the one who says so. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every word can't. Every word can't. The Bible have already made us to understand that by the word of our mouth, we shall be what? We shall be judged as well. So we need to be what? To be careful how we speak, what we speak out of our mouth. We better each, uh, let positive word be coming out of our mouth. So my brethren, my brethren have, okay, my brethren, enemies to each, many brethren, okay, many brethren are enemies to each other today because of what? Your tongue. You can see that in the book of Proverbs, because of time, Proverbs 6, Proverbs 6, 19. Many brethren today who are together, who are friends, they are in love. Many, because of tongue, they have divided today. They, uh, there is war between them. Quickly, let's read the book of Proverbs chapter 6, verse 19. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. Amen. Many, you see, he that soweth discord among brethren. That sister and that brother, they are, you just see that they are together. On all of a sudden, you see that they have become cataract. Go and find out what happened. It is because of the tongue. Sister, has anybody divided today because of your tongue? Ask yourself. And I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Many have chased, out, chased away their helper because of their tongue. Have you chased out your helper because of your tongue? I pray the Lord we have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What is the solution? Quickly, turn your tongue or rule your tongue. You must learn to rule your tongue if you must survive it. Learn to what? To rule your tongue. You must make a covenant with your tongue, not to use it to what? To sin against God. You must what? That is the solution. The solution now is number one, rule your tongue or turn your tongue. And two, make a covenant with what? With your tongue. If you must what? Survive it. If you must make heaven, if you and I must make heaven, if good things must come to our way, we must do what? We must turn our tongue. Or two, make a covenant with your tongue. In the book of Philippians chapter 2, we will not read this, you know this very well, 2, uh, 10 to 11. It makes us understand that at the measure of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow. And every tongue we confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You cannot measure the name of Jesus Christ now with your leg. It's with your tongue. If you do it now with your leg, the devil will be laughing at you. But when you speak it out, the devil will obey you. So, to round it up, as we go into prayer now, you can see the uh, the second one, which says you must. That is the, the solution now. You must make a covenant with your tongue, not to use it against God. You will find that in the book of Job, chapter 31, 31 verse one. Let's read that place as we go into uh, a short prayer. Amen. Job chapter thirty one verse one. You must make a covenant with your tongue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I read Job thirty one. 31. Um, if the, did you say 31, 31, sir? 31 verse 1. Okay, I read in Jesus' name. I made a covenant with mine eyes. Why then should I think upon a maid? Amen. So, I just said I make a covenant with what? With my eye. Also, you need to make covenant with every part of your body. Make a covenant with your tongue. This is my tongue. I will not open it, even though the person speaks here from January to December. I will keep quiet. It is when somebody hear a word from you that we have something against you. But if he does not hear anything from you, he will not have anything against you. 
And I pray the Lord will teach us, give us the grace to turn our tongue, to rule our tongue, and to make a covenant with our tongue if we must survive this journey of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My dear brothers, we have heard. At this hour, I want us to talk to God. Where have I misused my tongue? Where have I misused the tongue that I suppose the Bible says is out the, the, the book of James right now make us understand that it's not supposed to be so. Where a sweet water is coming out from there is the, there's supposed not to be a bitter water coming out of that same place. Our tongue is given to us to, to edify, to glorify God, not to say a word of negative. What negative word have you spoken with your mouth? Tell God you are sorry. Anywhere I have destroyed my destiny, Lord. Anywhere I have destroyed the destiny of my children. Anywhere I am the cause of the problem of my marriage. Hey, your husband, hey, he, he, every week he give you 500 euros to go and do shopping. And you go ahead and tell your friend, friend, my husband is a wonderful husband. Every week he must give me 500 euros for shopping. And that one husband cannot even give them one euro. Very soon you will be in trouble. Mm -hmm. Very soon your husband will not be giving to you again, not because he had it, because something was done. You were the one who carried the matter to go and sell it. And they help you to change your husband for you. They help you to change your wife for you. Tell God, where have I destroyed my home? Where have I destroyed my own destiny and that of my parents, that of my children, that of my loved ones, that of my brethren? Because of the words of my mouth, Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I am sorry. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, I give you the praise to be with the honor. Lord Jesus, please have mercy upon me, Lord Jesus. I want to speak, Lord Jesus, out of my mouth, not in California. So, what I want, Lord Jesus, is that, Father, please have mercy upon me, Father, have mercy upon my soul, Father. Please have mercy upon me, come see that voice to Lord Jesus, Father, every word that I speak out of my mouth, I beg you, every word that I speak out of my mouth, and then make the word that I speak concerning my destiny, Lord Jesus, of my life, Father, have mercy on me. I'm sorry, Lord Jesus, for all of the make the word that I speak concerning my destiny, concerning my concerning my own self, Father, have mercy on me. Oh, you, Lord Jesus, please have mercy on me. Today we are praying. Amen. Lastly, I want you to pray and tell God, Father, I need the power. You are go now you are going to dedicate your tongue to Jesus Christ. Dedicate it to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, I have no power to rule my tongue. Help <laughs> me to rule my tongue. Be the master of my tongue. Be the remote control of my tongue. That henceforth my tongue will no longer proceed, proceed uh, in negative, tongue, negative word. So that there will not be bitter word anymore from my mouth. That mm -hmm. henceforth I will only speak positive and more than and defy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as we open our mouth and pray. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, I give you the praise, the glory, I give you the honor. Holy Spirit, please rule my mouth, I rule my tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, to rule my mouth, to rule my tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, to rule my mouth, my tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, to rule my tongue, to rule my tongue, to rule my words. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. My tongue to let you my mouth unto you, Holy Spirit, to open my mouth to hold my tongue in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, to open my tongue to open my mouth in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, to open my tongue, you my tongue, you my mouth, mighty name. We are praying as we are praying, so shall it be in Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Are you out there? You are not born again. For you to be able, you can see, even though that are, that are be with the Lord, are praying now that they cannot control their tongue. What about you? 
without the Spirit of God in you, there is no how you can do it. And to be able to have that Spirit of God, you need to give your life to Christ. As the, as, uh, the uh, below sister Antonia or Kaka will lead you to Christ right now, why sister, sister Edith, we pray for you. I pray the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, are you are there and you have made up your mind to give your life to Jesus? Because without Jesus Christ in your life, there is guarantee. Thank God you've heard the word of God. Say this word after me. Say, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. I've been living in the far country of sin. I have made up my mind to serve you. Please wash me with your precious blood. Take my name out of the condemned and write it in the Lamb Book of Life. As I surrender my life to you, Father, give me the grace, the strength to go and see no more. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you again. Give you all the glory. Give you all the honor. Thank you for the life of our children that have don't co- they have just come to you now. Lord Jesus Christ, please, they cannot do it on their own. They have accepted you as your Lord and their Lord and personal Savior. Father, please wash over them. Give them the grace mm-hmm. to sin no more. All that heaven mm-hmm. back to their vomit again in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Amen. Keep of your eye. I said they have said they have accepted you today. On the last day, they will not be a castaway. Help them mm-hmm. refrain them from evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for ourselves, oh God, we have given our life to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Help us not to fall. Help us to control our tongue. Help us, oh God, those things that you know that we are doing, that we send us to hell. Help us, oh God, give us the grace to conquer them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And cover us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Help us on the last day of God, first will be a cast away in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God bless you both in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the Lord to the Holy Spirit for the moderator to take over. God bless you, sir. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide aka the shepherd and the bishop of our souls ministry worldwide